hello everyone this is Jennifer so in this video we're going to look into the presentation of financial statement problems so full-fledged problems so we'll start out with our first problem which tells prepare a balance sheet as on 31st March 2016 from the following ledger balances extracted from the books of SR limited so they've given the debit side and they've given the credit side balances so furniture at cost less depreciation is 370500 which is a fixed asset goodwill intangible asset building at cost is fixed asset debtors is current asset technical know-how is intangible asset cash in hand cash at bank all are current asset preference dividend for half year ended 30th 9 2015 so if you see the preference dividend for half year has been paid which is 39,000 so the remaining 39,000 which is yet to be paid is supposed to be known as the proposed dividend so if they are paid for half a year so the remaining half year is supposed to be paid so it becomes a proposed dividend final dividend for the entire year which is given to be 48,750 which is paid bills receivable 26,000 current asset investment in shares of companies at cost is 6,27,000 which is investment stock in trade is current asset which is 1,52,56,000 moving on to your credit side 6% preference shares which comes under your share capital equity share which comes under your share capital 5% debentures with a general charge which is nothing but your long term borrowings company deposits long-term borrowings trade creditors short-term borrowings provision for taxation it's a it's a provision for taxation it's a short-term provisions outstanding debenture interest for half year which is 26,000 if you see it's an outstanding debenture interest which is supposed to be paid to the debenture holder so it becomes a other current liability which is a liability of the company to pay them so it becomes under other current liabilities provision for doubtful debts which is 19500 you basically minus it from your debtors profit and loss balance as on 1 for 2015 so if you see here it's a credit balance which means it is a surplus so which is 1,95,000 it is nothing but a surplus which means the income of the company is more than its expenditure general reserve which come under your reserves and surplus block net profit for the year which will again come under your reserves and surplus block which is 2,6,650 so if you see there are three adjustments which is given bills receivable for rupees 9750 maturing after 31 3 2016 have been discounted so if you see here we are doing the balance sheet for 31st march 2016 okay so bills receivable which is maturing after this particular date has been discounted before the date so it is a contingent liability okay which we will not be accounting in this particular pa statement but will be accounting in the next year statement investment in companies include 13,000 equity shares of BRB limited of rupees 10 each at rupees 6 per share paid up so investment in companies include 13,000 equity shares of BRB limited so of rupees 10 each at rupees 6 per share paid up so if you see for this 13,000 shares it is 10 rupees is the value of per share so 13,000 into 10 it is nothing but 1,30,000 so in that 13,000 into 6 which is 78,000 has been paid but remaining that is nothing but 
10 minus 6 which is 4 rupees per share becomes unpaid which is a commitment of the company to pay it okay so that will be considered as a commitment and it will not be shown in your presentation of financial statements the third adjustment is the director have recommended a 10 percent dividend on equity shares and a transfer of rupees 40,000 to general reserve so director has recommended 10 percent dividend on equity shares so if you see what is the value of equity shares equity shares value is 13 lakhs so 13 lakhs into 10 percent how much do you get sorry equity shares value is 9 lakh 75,000 so 9 lakh 75,000 into 10 percent which you get 97,500 so in this 97,500 the director has recommended the dividend so 97,500 is a recommended dividend of equity shares okay and a transfer of rupees 40,000 to general reserve they have told so we look into how we are basically adjusting each item in your presentation of financial statements so we'll start with all the working notes so you basically have each working note right from share capital reserves and surplus long-term borrowings other current liabilities short-term borrowings then you move on to your asset side and you start with fixed assets long-term investment trade receivable cash and cash equivalents and the last but last but not the least which is contingent liabilities and commitments which are not provided in your balance sheet but which are just shown in your working notes so we'll just look into each of the working notes separately so share capital in the question what all comes under your share capital you start with authorized issued subscribed and fully paid up capital so now your fully paid up capital is six percent preference shares of rupees 100 each which is 13 lakhs six percent preference shares of rupees 100 each which is 13 lakhs subscribe but not fully paid how, how would you get to know that it is subscribed but not fully paid here they have told equity shares of rupees 10 each only 7.50 is paid so the remaining becomes unpaid so it is subscribed but not fully paid up capital which is 9,75,000 so that's all we have under share capital so total up your share capital which comes up to 22,75,000 moving on to a next working note which is reserves and surplus so you st always start with general reserve as on 1 4 2015 which is the beginning of the year so how much have they given in the question so if you see in the question in the credit side they have given general reserve which is 2 lakh 60 thousand so take that 2 lakh 60 thousand if you see if there are any adjustment given under your general reserve if you move on to your additional information they have told rupees 40,000 has been transferred to general reserve so add that add transfers during the year 40,000 so you get your outer column of the amount to be 3 lakhs now you're supposed to look into the other part of the reserves and surplus working note which is your surplus in statement of profit and loss account if you see in this question we have surplus we do not have a deficit because we have a surplus so balance as on 1 4 2015 which is they have given in the question profit and loss account balance which is nothing but your surplus 1 lakh 95,000 so you have to consider that 1 lakh 95,000 then your net profit for the year okay so net profit is given in your question which is again your surplus 2,6650 so if you total up you get around 4,1650 so now in the surplus you are supposed to deduct all the appropriations made in the year how basically a surplus is being divided into different categories of expenditures so looking on to your first one in the year 
they have given your final dividend which is 48,750. So consider that final dividend for 2014 to 15 is 48,750. Next, what is the next dividend paid in the year? If you see preference dividend for half year ended, which is being paid, which is 39,000. Consider that again, preference dividend for half year, 39,000. So these are the two dividends that have been paid. But if you see what is the proposed dividend, they have not paid, but they have told, the company has told the um, uh, shareholders that they will be paying this particular dividend in the coming year. So that is nothing but your proposed dividend. So for preference shares we will see and for equity shares we will see. Okay. If you see I have already told you all that the preference dividend for half year it is paid. So the remaining half year becomes a proposed dividend. So 39,000 proposed preference dividend is 39,000. And if you see your equity dividend which we calculated they have told the dividend have been recommended at 10% on equity shares. So 9,75,000 into 10% which is 97,500 is your proposed equity dividend. If you total it up you get 1,36,500. And if you see transfer to general reserve. So from your surplus only ob obviously you will transfer to general reserve. So that also becomes a appropriation. So transfer to general reserve 40,000. So if you total up all your appropriation you get 2,64,250. So basically minus it from your surplus. So 4,1650 minus 2,64,250 which we get 1,37,500. 400. So total up your both reserves and surplus. Your reserves is 3 lakhs. Your surplus is 1,37,500. So your balance will be 4,37,400. Moving on to our third working note which is long term borrowings. So long term borrowings. Five, if you see the question what all long term borrowings do we have? person debentures with the general charge which is 10 lakh 40 thousand five percent secured by a general charge on all asset then if you see we have company debo deposits which is also a long-term borrowing which you consider which is 52 thousand you total up 10 lakh 92 thousand is your long-term borrowings moving on to your other current liabilities so other current liabilities in your credit set, what all do we have as other current liabilities? Can we consider it? Outstanding debenture interest, which is for half year, which is 26,000. So outstanding debenture interest, interest accrued and due on debentures, which is 26,000. Then moving on to our next working note, short term provisions. So what are your short term provisions? Provision for doubtful debts and provision for taxation. So provision for taxation is 54,000 and uh, so you will not consider provision for doubtful debts. Provision for taxation is 54,000 and you will consider your proposed dividend which is 1,36,000. 500 which is a total of our preference and equity which we calculated and our reserves and surplus which is 1,36,500 total you get 1,90,500 moving on to your asset side working note we start off with our fixed asset so under fixed asset basically you have two kinds of asset one is your tangible asset the other one is your intangible asset so what are your tangible asset when we look into it is buildings which is 11 lakh 5 thousand so they have given after depreciation so you need not minus any depreciation so it is 11 lakh 5 thousand then next fixed asset that you have is your Furniture which is 3,70,000. So if you total up which you get 14,75,500. Moving on to our intangible asset. Our intangible asset amount is 
goodwill which is 13 lakhs they have given goodwill at cost which is 13 lakhs technical know how is 91,000 so totally you get 13 lakh 91,000 so moving on to our next working note which is long term investment investment in shares of companies so investment in shares of companies they have given 6 lakhs 27,900 moving on to our trade receivables we have debtors which is given in your question 3 lakh 90 thousand minus your provision for doubtful debts which is given 19,500 you get the outer column amount to be 3 lakh 70 thousand 500 bills receivable is 26 thousand totally you get 3 lakh 96 thousand 500 your next working note is cash and cash equivalents cash at hand is one lakh twenty thousand cash at back is three lakh nine thousand you get a total to be four lakh twenty nine thousand contingent liability and commitments which we show it as a working note but which should not provide in your balance sheet so contingent liability bills receivable for nine thousand seven hundred and fifty maturing after thirty one three two thousand sixteen has been discounted Commitment liability for partly paid up shares held as investment, which is for 13,000 shares, 6 rupees has been paid, 4 rupees has been unpaid. So, 13,000 into 4, 52,000, which is a commitment of the company. So, moving on to our balance sheet. So, if you look into the balance sheet, just like that, we provide okay the format, everybody knows it. So we start with equity and liabilities, shareholders fund, under that we have the share capital working note number 1, we have the total to be 22,75,000, reserves and surplus working note number 2, 4,37,400, you get your total to be 27,12,400. Then moving on to your non current liabilities, long term borrowings which is our working note number 3, 10,92,000, I have already explained the working notes so i'm just glancing through your balance sheet current liabilities straight payables 4,55,000 other current liabilities 26,000 short term provision is 1,90,500 you get your total of your liability side to be 44,75,900 current liability 6,71,500 so total of your current liability Total of your liability side is 44,75,900. Moving on to your asset side, we have your non current asset. Under non current asset, we have a fixed assets working note number 6. So, tangible asset is 14,75,500. Intangible asset is 13,91,000. Long term investment is working note number 7, 6,27,900. Current asset is inventories. We have inventories. If you see, we have not done any working note. Okay. So, inventories stock, they have given 1,56,000. Just take that ahead like that itself. 1,56,000. Trade receivables working note number 8, which is 3,96,500. Cash and cash equivalents, working note number 9, 4,29,000, total you get 9,81,500. So, your total of your asset side is 44,75,900. So, your balance sheet tallies. By this, we get to finish the sum. Moving on to our next question, which is... in the books of PKB Limited after closing the profit and loss account for the year in the 31st March 2016 where as follows freehold land at cost which is a fixed assets furniture fixed assets buildings fixed assets provision for current taxation short term provision trade receivables which is 50,000 provision for doubtful debt short you minus it from your debtors profit and loss statement balance which is a credit balance so it is a surplus 
bank overdraft current liability authorized and issued capital trade payables proposed dividend is a short term provision investment in shares is an investment stock and trade inventories unsecured loans long term borrowings cash and non cash at bank is a current asset i'm very sorry bank overdraft is a short term liability so moving on to our adjustment the question they have told prepare a balance sheet as on 31st march 2016 after taking into account the following additional information the land was revalued on 1st jan 2016 at 3 lakhs by an expert valuer but as no effect has been get given in the books although the directors have decided to adjust the revalued amount they are telling the directors have decided to adjust the revalued amount so what is your revaluation about 3 lakhs okay and what is the actual value of the land and building it is 2 lakh and 60000 so 3 lakhs minus 2 lakh and 60000 which is 40000 which will be considered in your reserves and surplus as revaluation reserve which is 40000 i again repeat the revaluation amount is 3 lakhs and uh, the land and building value is 2 lakh 60000 as per your statement provided so the revaluation re reserve is 3 lakh minus 2 lakh 60000 which is 40000 that is your revaluation reserve so moving on to our next adjustment which is market value of investment was 1 lakh 85000 as on 31st march 2016 just ignore this point the investment value is 1 lakh 80000 but the market value they're telling it is 1 lakh 85000 and they have not told whether it is needs to be reported or not so just ignore it the land and building of the company are mortgage in the favor of the bank as a security of overdraft sanctioned up to a limit of 2 lakh 50000 so the mortgage building they just telling it is p mortgage for 2 lakh 50000 which is the value of land and building so you can just separately show the value of land and building as per the balance sheet provided so let's start with our working notes so your first working note is share capital authorized issued subscribed and fully paid so in the question we have authorized and issued capital equity shares of rupees 10 each which is 4 lakh so 40000 equity shares of rupees 10 each 4 lakhs so nothing else we have under share capital moving on to your reserves and surplus which is your revaluation reserve i told you all the market value of the land is this 3 lakhs the freehold land at cost is 2 lakh 60000 so revaluation reserve is 3 lakh minus 2 lakh 60000 which is 40000 and if you see under reserves and surplus we do not have anything else net profit all that given they have just given your profit and loss statement balance which is 17560 in the question they have clearly mentioned it's a credit balance so it is sub considered to be surplus so surplus 17560 so if you total up your reserves in surplus you get 57560 moving on to our long term borrowings so in the question we have unsecured loans which is 20000 is considered to be our long term borrowings then short term borrowings your bank overdraft which is 69700 so they have told bank overdraft which is basically secured on your land and buildings to up to a level of 2 lakh 650000 they have told in the working notes so we consider this all to be so to be secured on land and building 69700 so next is your short term provisions so all your short term liabilities that you're supposed to pay so provision for current taxation 
which is 28,940. Then you have your proposed dividend which is 20,300. Total of top you get 49,240. Tangible asset. Now we will move on to tangible asset. So our tangible asset is that can be felt and touched. So freehold land at cost. If you see in the balance sheet they have given 260,000. If you see in the adjustment they have told it is valued at 3 lakhs. So the directors have decided to adjust their revalued amount. So consider that I again repeat freehold land at valuation you consider 3 lakh not the 260,000 which is given in a balance sheet buildings at cost less depreciation it's which is 14 which is 68,600 then furniture at cost less depreciation which is 14,400 these are your tangible asset we do not have the intangible asset so we are moving on to the non-current investment shares of companies at cost if you see investment in shares they have given 180000 the market value they have told 185000 ignore it you consider the balance sheet value which is 180000 trade receivables you start with your trade receivables amount which is 50000 minus your provision for doubtful debts which is 2500 which you get 47500 cash and cash equivalents we have cash in hand and cash at bank which is 1000 and 7400 total you get 8400 this working note which is profit on revaluation of freehold land to be transferred to revaluation account 3 lakhs minus 2 lakhs 60,000 40,000 I told you all earlier itself so we'll move on to our balance sheet so let's just glance through it so equity and liabilities under that you have your shareholders funds under that you have share capital working note number one four lakh reserves and surplus working note number two fifty seven thousand five hundred and sixty non-current liabilities under non-current liabilities we have the long-term borrowings working note number three twenty thousand the deferred tax liability is not given in the question so you just need to correct that in the question which is 10,000 then moving on to your current liabilities short term borrowing six working note number four 69,700 trade payables we have not calculated any working notes so you take it as it is just one amount which is 52,400 short term provision working note number five 49,240 so you get your total of your liability side to be 6,58,900. Moving on to your asset side, under that you have non-current asset, under that you have your fixed asset, tangible asset which is working note number 6, 3,83,000, non-current investment working note number 7, 1,80,000. So total you get 5,63,000 current asset under current asset we have inventories we have not written any working note which is 40,000 trade receivables working note number 8 47,500 cash and cash equivalents working note number 9 8,400 so you total you get your balance sheet to be 6,58,900 which balances thank you everyone